Hey everybody, so welcome to uh, 90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Days, Season 5, Episode 5, False Starts and Promises. So let's just get into this episode because it's very eye-opening, okay? So Hazma and Memphis, they just got busted and sleeping in the same bed together. Hazma didn't listen to his mother, okay? And his mom was upset about it, like, I thought we came to an agreement and I thought you said that you weren't going to do this. And, like, she, he did it. Like, mm-hmm. And, you know, so Hazma sneaked. And she couldn't say no. But Memphis was, like, the sexy time. That's what they call sex. The sexy time was bad. And sex is crucially important to her. Especially if they're about to get married. If, y'all if they're know about what to be I'm married. Saying. If y'all get what I'm saying. Okay? Um, and I'm like, what did he do? Get it in wrong? And she was like, he you know, really fast. And y'all know, y'all know, okay? She was like, you ejaculated kind of fast. And like, she was like, is it always that fast? Like, you didn't take your time or nothing. You just rushed it. So, mm. and I personally think he just likes her tits. She was like, big boobies, big boobies. There's more to women than big boobies, okay? And then, um, the mom, moms know when you're lying. And I think his mama knows that he's lying. He's like, come on, give it up. I know what you did. Just fess up, okay? And then we have Elena and Caleb. I just have one question. So when this, like, shows him and her, you know, she's, like, standing there. I'm wondering, like, was there a wheelchair underneath her or is that just how she stands? I'm just wondering, okay? Um, so they kissed and they had a long time, but they have not had sex yet, okay? And he seems having a very hard time getting past the height difference. You've known this girl for 13 years. You've been with her in person for a little while. Now's your time to try to get over it. Because she seems very sweet, but I don't think that's going to work out, to be honest. Jasmine and Gino. Okay, so we got Gino. I'm looking at him still. Like, does he ever take his hat off? And Jasmine wants to change the way Gino's dressing. I understand that he looks like he's dressed like he's going to the gym every single day. But I just say you don't need to change a man. If you feel like you need to change your, the man, that means that man was not for you. Okay, you shouldn't have not had to change a man for them to be yours. Like, girl, he is not your Ken doll that you just dress up in because you don't, because you want to impress your friends. Maybe that's just how he dresses. Maybe that's what he is comfortable in, okay? And, you know, Jasmine's up in there picking out clothes for him, like Levi's, this, that, and the third. And, like, Gino, when he's, like, I don't know how y'all know, okay? Now, I've been watching the show. I just ain't been reviewing it. This is the first episode I reviewed. But I was, like... Bonita, oh, Bonita, oh, oh, oh. Like in a cutesy voice. Let me tell you, that cutesy voice went away so fast because he was like, I don't want to spend $500 on clothes. It don't matter what country I'm in. I'm not spending no $500 on clothes, period, because he's been out of work for seven months, I'm assuming, because of COVID. And again, that cutesy voice went away once he knew how much he had to pay. So Mike and Jimenez, so Mike is like, he's already met her whole family. And when producer asked if he got lucky, he um went to go grab a little drinky drink and then answer the question. So, sir, you got lucky or what? Okay. And Amanda said it was normal. She felt like it wasn't extraordinary. It wasn't nothing special to her, but it was normal. Maybe Mike was nervous. I don't know. Maybe he was nervous for real. And honestly, I'm like, sometimes I think, oh, maybe this relationship will work. And oh, maybe it won't. Because sometimes I think she's using him. And other times I think she loves him. I'm like kind of confused. You know, and they didn't even sit next to each other on the bus, you know. Like Mike sat up front with her family as she sat in the back with her family or her sons or something. And she did feel, she said, even though it was, he needs some practice in the bedroom. That's what she was trying to say. Because I guess he, you know, some people just can't get it right. But uh, she felt the love between them. And, you know, she's talking to Mike at the beautiful place. There was like beautiful waterfalls and everything. And she's telling him like, oh, um, yeah, I can't have kids. And he's like, why? So basically she said an operation. I would have said a hysterectomy because she got her tubes burned, tied, whatever. Cause I guess it was too much for her. And then we see Johnny. He's in Janan City and he's going to meet Ella, his girlfriend for the first time. I personally think they are not going to meet. I personally think that like for real. He has a son named Stoney and he's five years old. His first marriage failed because of his parents. Like, they couldn't stay out of the business. They couldn't stop arguing. They couldn't shut up. Okay, they just couldn't shut up. Um, and he doesn't like conflict. He wants a peaceful marriage. Okay, so Hazma. 
the sex again we're getting back into the sex thing again the sex was too fast and she was like sex time is too fast and she's she didn't say like he was like oh i'm sexy i'm sexy sir she was not trying to say are you sexy she said that you're too fast <laughs> that is what she said okay and then caleb and elena are growing closer and closer you know you start feeling this tension again her friend is like saying all this stuff in Russian. I think that's rude to talk in front of people who don't speak the same language as you. Because personally, I feel like people use that language. Fight me on it. I don't care. It's like when somebody starts switching up language on you, it's either they're doing it to help the other person understand or they're talking. Like for real. Okay. And Jimena can't have any more kids. And the deliveries were too much for her. I personally think Jasmine has a jealousy problem and she has no filter. She says whatever. Hey, Jasmine, stink like, don't we? like she has no filter and she just mm -mm. and then ella ella thinks that johnny will reject her because of her weight and johnny's visa just got denied maybe it didn't maybe he realized that this wasn't it you know because some people are judgmental like that like they see a thick lady and they just don't want to and Jasmine is extra. She got him a shirt saying, I love my crazy Panamanian girlfriend. And she's like, oh, wait, I am the crazy Panamanian girlfriend. Girl, sometimes you act crazy. I don't know. And, you know, so I guess this is around Christmas time. That was the Christmas gift. And, you know, I was like, oh, wait a minute. You gave her a toilet brush for Christmas. You're either trying to tell her that her breath stinks or she needs to go brush her teeth. A toothbrush. You can have gotten her a shirt. Something like that. Something simple. A card. Something simple. Like no. And I'm telling you. Mike and Gino's eyes. They look like they're close together. I'm not trying to be rude here. I promise. So there's a new guy coming in. I think he got scam too. Cat scam. Catfish like Ella. And like. I guess Elena got finally got a ride on that disco stick. On that disco stick. But um, yeah, I thank y'all for watching this review. Come back next week. So I'll be reviewing next week's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Miss Roasting signing off. Bye.